It's funny that I'm a loser. No, 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 I don't. Just that you think you are. Look, Mac, for the first time in your life, you don't have 15 guys chasing after you. You're a jerk. I mean, what was I thinking asking you out? What you was thinking is that I'm a sexy beast. A beast, anyway. <laughs> so you're lucky not to be going out with Mac. You know, that's the other thing about you, too. You know, you're just way too smooth. You know, I would say two dates, and you would already be checking for other guys. One. And I would be standing there licking my wounds. So, that's why you turned me down, huh? Just because, you know, you're afraid I was going to dump you? Yeah. You know me so well. God, you're so full of it. <laughs> well, at least I got you to laugh for real this time. Poor Layla. I hope she knows what she's getting herself into. Yeah. You know, the funny thing is, it took these attacks on us to get us back together. See what I'm saying? Do I have a choice? Are you insane? Have you totally lost your mind? On the contrary, I think more clearly than most other people do. You see, pretty soon, we are going to be the minority. And when that happens, what do you think they're going to do to us, huh? Certainly not what you've done. You're wrong, Dad. We've been having this same argument since high school. And ever since then, this country has gotten worse. But you're never going to face reality, are you? So there's really no point in talking about it anymore. Oh, my God. I've thrown my entire life away to help you. And you're helping me. Thanks to you, I can continue my work. All right, listen to me. Listen good. If you keep on doing what you're doing while I'm in here, they're not going to be looking for me. They're going to be looking for you. Now you either stop this violence or what? Or I'm going to tell them everything. I would have given Marty the wedding of her dreams. There was a plane, it was leaving for Vegas, and we thought... And you crazy kids just couldn't keep your mitts off of each other. That's pretty much how it happened. So what are you doing here? I'm buying you drinks. Oh, God. I'm glad somebody is. Really. Why don't you hold up with her? You knew we went. Well, we have wives to leave. Yeah. Well, I don't think that's a good enough excuse. Why'd you marry her? Hey, come on, real deal. Make an offer that she just couldn't refuse. Did you see anything when you came back here? Anybody? I can see myself. And... No, there's, there's nobody else here. Sure? Yes. Nothing? Yes, I am sure. I, I, I must have killed Spencer. It must have been me. And how do you explain getting knocked out? We don't know that I did. Well, you didn't come to this room for a nap, did you? Well, you ended up here for a reason. Yeah, maybe that um, Spencer and I, I struggled and I, I, I must have gotten knocked out somehow. And then when I, when I came to here... It still doesn't explain how you ended up in this room. Well, you know, obviously I'm blocking it out for some reason. Look, you don't have any blood on your clothing? No. You don't stab someone multiple times and just walk away clean. And why do I remember the scissors? Well, and maybe when you came back in here, you went to Blair's room and you saw Truman there already dead. I had them in my hand. Like, why can't you believe that it was me? It just doesn't add up. You know? My instincts tell me you didn't do it. And I trust that. I think you need to trust it too.